Delta 1009 at Delta 27, we are ready. 10. Delta 1009, Delta 27, your startup is approved, 1 to 1 decimal 8. In the previous video, we talked a great deal about external lighting system used on an aircraft. For this video, let's move our attention span to the internal lighting system. Cockpit lighting is needed for the illuminations of instruments, switches and panels. They are normally white to reduce the power and heat, improves contrast on the instrument and reduces eye fatigue. Instrument lighting is normally from incandescent lamps integrated within individual instruments. Lighting must be shielded from causing any direct glare to the pilot and must be dimmable that is accomplished by a rheostat. With a substantial number of systems on the aircraft, any unusual activity must not miss the pilot's eye. For that reason, every system is connected to the master warning or caution light. The lights are located within pilot's immediate view, typically on the glare shield. Caution lights were developed to ease pilot workload, particularly on an aircraft designed for operation without a flight engineer. It immediately grabbed the attention of the pilot and direct him to the area which is malfunctioning, which in this 777 cockpit is a fire in the APU, so that the pilot non-flying can then look up and troubleshoot the problem immediately. Master caution give three kinds of light signal. Number one is warning, which is red in color and suggests that an unsafe condition exists. The second type of warning is caution, which is amber in color and suggests that an abnormal condition exists but is not very dangerous. The third type is advisory, which is green or blue in color and suggests that a safe condition exists or for information, example gear down during landing or flaps up after takeoff. Moving back to the cabin, several other lights are used primarily for increasing the visibility whether it be for reading a cyan board or identifying the emergency exit. As you know, smoke rises and tends to fill spaces from the roof down. Passengers have a higher probability to survive by crawling. Under that situation, emergency lights on the ground will guide them towards the exit. If you want to learn about the lights on the runway, consider subscribing. If you like the content of this video, do share your feedback with me. Remember that a good pilot or engineer or anybody in the aviation industry is always learning. Thanks for watching.